Alrighty, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, so, this is our next episode. We're just going to be working on trying to get this shape here. So, what you'll see is I'm trying to find it here on the map because I didn't want to. Well, actually, what you see me here doing first is I tried to create it because I noticed it's really far away. But what ends up happening is not what I want. So, um, like I tried cutting it, I tried doing stuff, but it doesn't turn out to be the same shape. So, I just found it down here and decided I'd um, just turn them and transport them all the way over there. Um, that, we're using the new feature there with the uh, extractors. You can uh, match them up like that. They'll pull it out uh, faster. Uh, I think what I'm doing here with all this paint is probably a little excessive with all the extractors and everything, but uh, what we need is white, uh, the color white. And so there's, it takes three different colors to do that. And there was just the three colors right here all close together very conveniently. Uh, so I just decided to set up base there for the white. And here's the circles we're going to use to uh, that we need to turn into the white. We need the white to turn in. Wait a minute. That we need that we're going to use the white paint on. There you go. Uh, and I feel like at least for this part I felt pretty good about how I set it up. Um, the it felt pretty neat. Obviously, there's a little bit of discrepancy there on the side with like exactness, but I felt pretty good about how this was set up. It was pretty neat. Uh, so I had all the circles here that I would need. So I'd go back down here and grab the other part, uh, the the main background part, I guess. And just the process of getting it over there. That's just me getting it to there. It's kind of not the best way to do it, I think, because it mess it can mess up the stuff if I run into other conveyor belts. But here I'm getting the blue paint for the uh, I don't even know what to call that. I think I called it in video pointed circle with point or something like that. Um, so that's what we're doing here. And Right there, it didn't work because the tunnels are just a little too short sometimes for me uh, with how I've had things set up. Um, but I just adjusted some stuff and it's working. So yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much what this video is all about. We are using this combiner thing again that we had in our last video, I think. Uh, and we're just trying to set, I can set up three um, which really I have like four white circles up top so I was not using my thing totally to the fullest extent uh, but I break a hole through all that stuff and start pumping them in alrighty so now now it's just me trying to make it more efficient um, using because all the things are backed up, so that means there's enough resources to add more tunnels from it. Uh, so I'm just making it more and more efficient. We gotta get a thousand of these, so more of the merrier. And then I'm putting them all in the same pipe over to the main CPU hub place, because I figure that's the best place or it's just a much cleaner way to do it um, I must have been running out of blue uh, blue point circles with shapes and that I think that was just me looking at how big the world was uh, kind of waiting for things to go along uh, I, re I then realize I need more white paint and so I start hooking up another white paint dispenser, I guess you could call it, because uh, we have plenty of the base colors, but it takes a little while for those paint combiners to work, so we 
for just doing that. Um, one of the tips that it talked about earlier um, is to not forget tunnels. And I think that's very important because I need to use tunnels all the time just to get things connected. Now, maybe if I planned it out perfectly, I could have done it without the tunnels, but that would be a huge hassle. Um, the tunnels work like, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. I'm thinking of roads with like the overpass and you have a train that goes on the top part, but you can go underneath it. Anyways, oh, we're going to be closing up here. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.